Hey friends, welcome back for another video. So this is gonna be a long awaited room tour. I'm gonna to do this tour in two sections. So you see here, I have a TV on a stand. I have a large uh, mirror with the vanity lights. I have my ring light. I have some acrylic organizers on top of the vanity. And then over the left side here where we will start is a two door style dresser. I think that's what you would call it. I don't know anyway <laughs> on top of that I have on the left side uh, my jewelry box and then I have a tray with perfume all white and I just want to show you a couple of these scents um, some of the ones that are kind of like my favorites I have the Dolce um, by Dolce and Gabbana then I have Jimmy Choo listed in you guys look I love love that scent And Lady Gaga, I was really hesitant about getting a celebrity scent because I think some of them are hyped up more <laughs> than they need be. But I really do love that. That's a classic one I really like. And as you can see, I've had some of these babies for a while. I need to dust them off. And then Marc Jacobs. I love a lot of the Marc Jacobs scents. And that is the Uso Fresh. And then this is the Marc Jacobs dot, which is nice and as well. And I cleaned out one of the candle containers, the three wick candle containers, and I actually have my travel roller balls or travel sprays in here. So I like to purchase the travel sprays for some of the perfume that is really expensive. Um, just to see if I really like it before I purchase it. So a couple of these are, you know, something that I already, that I purchased the full size of. But you've got the Dolce, and then that was the Gucci Floor. That's the Marc Jacobs Daisy Dream. This is a polo one. Now, I also have this jewelry rack. I believe that's what you would call this. So, I have some necklaces on my dad actually made that for me um, with I think it's one of the rare coins he collects coins so he actually had that um, for me and I believe Christmas he gave it to me last Christmas and then I have like this Vince Camuto spray which is a really nice spray I actually picked that up from Marshalls those are really inexpensive and you can find some really good scents and then this is the Victor Roth Flower Balm, which is an amazing scent. I actually purchased that from TJ Maxx, so I was so happy I didn't have to pay regular price for that. And then this container here I purchased from, I want to say TJ Maxx through the Home Goods. Pretty much mm, everything in this room <laughs> um, is TJ Maxx or Home Goods or someplace Sephora, Ulta, you know, like that. So those watches there are my Michael Kors watches. Um, I have a fossil one in there that I received from my parents from a previous Christmas. And then over here, going toward the vanity area, um, these are Basically, this drawer right here is a lot of eye stuff. This is pretty much the eye drawer. So that is the Lit Glitter Glue. I mean, that is amazing glitter glue. And then I have the Inglot Duraline. And I have some pigments in that container as well. And then this is the, I forgot what you call those, those drops. Um, but that's from the Riri collection. Oh my goodness, and this is another, that's the glitter, I'm going to think that is the Gold Reflex or the Antique Gold.
paneling and lashes does have some really nice glitters. So on to some of my favorite things here. I have the Makeup Forever Flash Color 12 Color Flash Palette. And then I have a Paint Pot Palette um, that I created. Um, with a couple of, I think of one or two liners in there. And then I have this view set container that I actually put some glitters in. And you guys, the glitter, it does hold very well in there. So it's awesome containers for that. And they do not dry out your paint pot. So it's a very good deal. And that is, what is that? A MAC, um, that is eyeshadow palette a cream eyeshadow palette I didn't know it was cream or I wouldn't have bought it I thought it was a lip palette but anyway uh, <laughs> just showing you a couple of my eyeshadow primers like the NARS Pro Prom the Urban Decay primers I have a L'Oreal primer in there this is the NYX um, milky pencil and this is the NYX jumbo black pencil there and then underneath this tray I'm um, gonna did pick up these trays pretty much all these trays that you see here from TJ Maxx. So I have some Colourpop in here and then some Makeup Geek pigments like Utopia. Oh my goodness, I love that right there. And this one, I want to say that I picked that up. Well, I actually got that from it, like an Ipsy bag, I believe, or Boxy Charm, one of the two. And I've had this baby for an incredibly long time. Um, that I think is under your spell. Um, and then the Butter London Shadows. This is the duo I picked up from Ulta. It is a really, really pretty duo, you guys. It's really nice. Um, then I have some just single shadows that I made a mistake and purchased double of, or either I received them in a monthly subscription. So I just keep those kind of off to the to the side. They have that Ulta. Oh my goodness! And those are some contacts that I was going to do for like a Halloween look. I didn't do anything with. So maybe next year. Yeah, these are the travel sizes. Um, or the trial sizes should I say. All right, in this drawer we have some more eye items, basically eyeliners, things like that. But I also have some miscellaneous stuff and I don't know why. Um, basically some samples of perfumes, things like that. Little samples of foundations uh, are in here. So it's just kind of like a catch-all type drawer, but mainly eye stuff. And that's the Bobbi Brown liner, then I have a Suva liner as well with a couple of more samples then we have some basically all of that is like liners in that drawer there so um, those are the ones that I don't use quite as often and then that's a hard candy eyeshadow type thing which I've tried using once it was kind of pointless I should have just thrown it in the trash but anyway so and then that is the MAC Feline one of my favorite eye pencils Oh my goodness, and the petrol blue is so pretty, you guys. Like, look at that. That is so pretty. And then this is a, a Jordana Easy Liner. And it's tantalizing teal. And that is a pretty color as well. It's pretty pigmented. And then we have the Girlatic Beauty Eyeliner. It is a felt liner. And then one of my favorite liners is the Liquid Last Liner from MAC. And also another favorite liner um, is the Tarte Tardius. I think it's a clay paint liner. And then the Absolute New York Nano Liner is a pretty good one as well. So I have the ColourPop, this is a ColourPop cream liner. Um, I have that in white, I use that for the waterline. And then I picked up this mint green eyeliner from TJ Maxx, it's by Stila. And their liners are so creamy, I love them. 
and then this is by skin um, it's for bright eyes so this is great for the waterline it's like a flesh tone and then here I'm just showing you a couple of these disposable wands that I purchased from TJ Maxx and they were like $2.99 and then this is a buxom eyeshadow palette and I actually picked out these shadows myself Oh, all right, and so back here you just see um, basically this drawer is not this drawer but that last container is pretty much um, for mascaras so I have the MAC uh, mascara that I really like and then I have some a couple things that you know I just purchased um, when Ulta had the 21 days of beauty or really good deals so I just have some extras back here all right so in this drawer I have um, Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and then I forgot the brand from this one but I did pick this up at TJ Maxx um, I actually separated it from its original container because I mean I just didn't need the mirror and everything that came with it I thought this is just great to kind of throw in a bag or whatever for clients um, and so I have some powders over here like the Sasha Buttercup powder I've got the Laura Mercier powder I have a brush cleaner the Korean spirit I love that Laura Mercier it's amazing and then this is a makeup forever um, palette it came as an empty palette that I purchased from their website and that I've kind of broken down some black opal um, foundations and a couple other brands I put in there and then I'm just showing you some of the foundations that I have I bought a lot of the Maybelline fit me um, matte foundations so I got a different shades and stuff like that when they had it on sale from Ulta and I've felt like it would be really nice to have for clients and then of course I keep samples especially you know if they don't fit me then I would love to be able to use those for a client in case I don't have everything that I need and then this is a Coastal Sense blush and bronzer palette it's a pretty palette guys pretty 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 and then in here, I've just, you know, got some concealers. So this is a Kat Von D concealer, which I am absolutely in love with. And the Bobbi Brown foundation sticks. I believe that is the Warm Walnut. And I have some primers over here as well, the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. And then I have the Becca Evermatte Pore Perfecting Primer. Um, then there's some LA uh, Girl Pro Conceal. Did I got it right, LA Girl? Yep, yep, that's it. And then NARS. And I believe this one is the, that's the Illuminator, NARS Illuminator. That one that is not Coco Cabana, but, um, orgasm oh all right in this next drawer I have some um, disposable makeup wedges some cotton rounds or cotton balls there then I have some palettes um, and then I broken down some eyeshadows to kind of create loose eyeshadows so these are some of the palettes this is the Morphe 35 It is a wonderful fall palette. And All right, so this is just a, another palette. I believe this is a multi shimmer palette. And then over here we have some of the, I'm trying to get to it, the Urban Decay palettes. So these are the Vice palettes. In this last drawer uh, here on the bottom, I have some makeup wipes, um, some, I guess, makeup remover eye pads. Then I have the Indian clay uh, for a mask. And then I have just all the little watch cases. Here we have stuff. some of the Makeup Forever um, palettes. So these are the magnetic palettes that you can purchase from there. And then, of course, you can fill them with your eyeshadows. So what I love about that, they are larger than the Z palettes and it may not be necessary for everybody, but 
I have a lot of eyeshadows, so it is necessary for me. And if you guys want to see some of the individual shadows or whatever, see what I have. I do have that on my website. Um, so you can check on 7beautyinsideout.com. All right, and so here we have the Suva palette. That's the Neutral Necessity palette. That uh, back there was an Ofra palette that I received and a box of charm. And then these are kind of like my blue and greens and yellows. So most of the shadows that I have are MAC. I do have Coastal Sense, Makeup Geek, and I want to say that's it, but primarily they're MAC. Oh, and Anastasia Beverly Hills. I do have um, some of hers as well. I've been buying those lately. Or as a medium, I think that's the medium one, not a light. And then, all right, and so for this tray right here, um, I pretty much put like a lot of the contour stuff in here. This is another um, Black Radiance palette. That's the medium to dark. So the light to medium was the first one. And then this is the Shade and Light Kat Von D palette. Alright, and then this is another City Color Blush Palette. Okay, so in this tray here, I have pretty much blushes. Um, so that is a Kat Von D blush I found at TG Maxx. It's a double blush there. I think it was Hansel and Gretel. Then this is a Lancome one that I purchased. And then that's a Makeup Geek. That's MAC over here. That was with the Twaji collection. You guys, and that is a gorgeous, like, fall shade right there. That is so beautiful. Like, I'm so happy I bought her collection. And then that's the Black Radiance. And those are so pigmented. Like, you just need a tad bit. I probably use those for eyeshadows a little bit more than anything else because they are that pigmented. But the price is amazing. It's a really good price. Um, and that one here is a Lord Gelly. This is Lord Gelly. Lord Gelly. Gabler. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's one of her swirl blushes. And let's see, that's an Urban Decay one. ColourPop. I'm not a huge fan of the ColourPop blushes. They just work well with your fingers rather than a brush. So, you know, after you put your makeup on, I'm not sticking my finger along my cheeks to mess up my foundation. So, yeah, I wish I would have, you know, thought about it a little bit more. But, whatever. Hindsight. And then this last tray here, I have highlighters. So, as you can tell, I love some highlighters. So, um, I have all of the balm ones, the Betty Lou, um, which is Golden Tone, and then I have Matte Gold Mine, which is so pretty. It was like one of my first right there. And I love these MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes. That one right there is one of my favorites. I don't make it anymore, so this is no point in telling you what that one is. And ColourPop has some really nice ones, so I do like ColourPop, but just have to be careful with applying it. Um, you know, they work okay with a brush, but better with your fingers. Oh my goodness, and that MAC one right there, it is so pretty. That was also like a little addition. And then this is the Anastasia Peach Nectar. So that's the only one I have um, from her other than the last kit that came out uh, with the, like the six different highlighters. Oh my goodness, and that Bobbi Brown Pink Glow is so pretty. I love it. I love this Laura Mercier as well. Oh my goodness, that is the darkest shade. They have several different sh uh, shades. Of the Laura Mercier so I want to go back and get some more 
and then that's the NARS Dual Intensity. I have uh, two of the NARS Dual Intensities. I want to go back and get the rest of them because they're just that pretty. And I like it because you've got your highlight and then your blush in there as well. So that one is Frenzy. I'm sorry guys, but this is getting to be a long video, so I apologize. But you asked for it, so here it is. <laughs> Alright, so in this drawer here is basically a lot of my um, eyeshadow brushes and a lot of the things that I use most often like the Sasha Buttercup Press Powder. As you can see, I've hit pan in part of it and it's just like, that's my baby. I love it, love it, love it. Alright, and then this is a Makeup Forever um, Concealer Palette or Camouflage Palette. I've got some concealers in this drawer here. So this is pretty much all my cream concealers there um, you know I use them and then some oh and that's the Anastasia I believe that's 3.5 concealer that is really really thick and creamy if you've ever used the Becca concealer that has a consistency similar to Becca um, so you have the brow powder duo I've got some men and stuff over there you know always Pop that in the mouth when you got a client. Um, I have that little light thing here. Um, what I did is instead of having to um, plug and unplug these vanity lights because I didn't have a switch, um, then I just basically bought this like kit from Amazon. You can plug, um, you know, whatever you want into those electrical um, into that electrical kit, and then plug that into your outlet, and then you can actually turn them on and off like that so you don't have to actually unplug and plug so I've kind of separated the brushes um, I have the flat eyeshadows there the ones previous to that uh, were kind of like the crease brushes and then here you have the liner brushes and then I have like um, a lot of the ones that I just use the most often or like my little handy ones that actually came in some of the eyeshadow palettes I've got um, my Eye Envy from Kiss Lashes glue adhesive, well lash adhesive, I really love that clear one. Um, then I have some wedges and then more brushes. So um, I've got some Morphe brushes, Sonia Kashuk, Sigma, so I think that was the E42 which is a really nice brush to kind of get some excess powder off um, that is a Zoeva brush and that's pretty good for applying foundation or powder that's Juvia's flat foundation brush or foundation brush this is Sonia Kasha blush brush and this is another Zoeva brush there this is another Juvia's That is a Morphe large fan brush. And that is an angle kabuki from Sigma. That's Morphe. And then the other one is the pink one is Bella um, from like the Bella Pro, um, which you can find in TD Max. And that's Morphe in my hand. So it's pretty much in my hand is Morphe and Sonia Kashuk. That one right there is another Morphe flat angled brush. That's a Morphe foundation brush. No, Sephora. Okay, in this drawer, it's basically lip stuff. So I have um, lip pencils, I'm going to try to separate them according to their shades. Um, and then I have some miscellaneous like lip products here. Um, these are Kat Von D Minis, then I have the Too Faced Melted Lipsticks. And 
and then that's the NARS one. It's a pretty light shade for the fall. Okay, so underneath that you have some of the, I guess miscellaneous that they really tight didn't fit anywhere else. So I have some of the smaller like lip glosses or sample lip glosses um, or some of the little lip glosses that came with um, Box of Charm or something like that. And these are the MAC, I forgot what you call these. Um, oh, it just escapes me right now. Some of the Too Faced Melted Lipsticks, which I do love. And that was Melted Chihuahua. The other one was... Well, anyway, I forgot. Um, so, as you see here, I've kind of separated these lipsticks. Um, the first one is more the natural um, lips. So I'm going for natural or new lip. Um, then a lot of the shadows, the shades are going to be in that first one. Kind of like um, nudey, mauve, you know, kind of like the light mauve -y tones, anything like that. Some of the light browns. And then the next container is going to be, well, the next section is going to be like the pinks, some light um, purples. And then you have like red, orange, more of the peachy tones there. And then that last container is, oh, well, excuse me, the last section of this container it's going to be like your deep dark fall shades like some plum purples some deep reds things of that nature oh my goodness and I love that little NARS by the way and I it's cold pop and then a Jordana And that purple right there is so pretty. Oh my goodness, and that Jordana is more like a burgundy than a purple. But it's really pretty as well. All right, so in this drawer, um, it's pretty much miscellaneous stuff. I have some of the empty um, Z palettes. Um, when I upgraded to the Makeup Forever palettes, um, basically empty these out. So I have a MAC palette there. And those are just pretty much empty. Um, and then some things that I purchase or samples. Um, I just kind of pretty much dump them in here unless I have a particular section. But a lot of that is skincare stuff or makeup remover, things of that nature, um, lotion, hair stuff. I'll just dump it in here. Um, if I need a rise for it, then you know I can you know go in there and kind of figure it out. You know what's what. But pretty much if it's in there, it's pretty much skincare or hair. Alright, and I think for that last drawer wasn't really anything in it, so over there you see I have um, an acetone, got a pure acetone to help remove this gel nail polish, got a candle, I've got some of uh, like the pre and spirit, uh, which is a uh, yeah, brush cleaner. Behind that I have Cinema Secrets brush cleaner, I have some paper towels, um, I have another jewelry box with the TV sitting on top of it. Yeah, you can see the TV sitting on top of that and I use that when I'm filming um, so I can actually see on a larger screen since I don't have an external viewer on this camera. Alright, and on top of the